Saxon Course 2, Lesson 97 is on similar triangles and indirect measure. So, similar triangles have proportional lengths. So if you notice that our long side here is 10, and over here it's 5. And 10 divided by 2 equals 5. So it should hold true for all the other sides. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay. So on this one, it wants us to estimate the length of A and then use a proportion to find A. So these tick marks show that these angles are the same because they have the same number of tick marks. We know that the sum of the interior angles equals 180 degrees. Okay? And we know that the unmarked angles would have to be congruent because the other two angles are as well, which means that the lengths of the sides have to be proportional. So, side A is the same as side as this side with 3. So we have to figure out what, what the proportion is for A, or between the triangles. So I can use two sides to create a proportion to solve for A. So I'm going to use the sides 3 and A and 6 and 10. So my proportion is going to look like this. 6 over 10 equals 3 over A. Okay? Then we just do cross products. And I end up with 6, 6A equals 30. Divide both sides by 6. And A equals 30 divided by 6, which is equal to 5. Okay. With indirect measure, that is where we try to figure out the height of something by using your knowledge of proportions to figure out the height of something else. Okay. So to indirectly measure the height of a telephone pole on the playground, some students measured the length of the shadow cast by the pole. The shadow measured 24 feet, and the length of the shadow cast by a vertical meter stick was 40 centimeters about how tall was the telephone pole. So first you're going to sketch the shadows and put in the given information. Okay. And now we're going to use a ratio box to solve for our missing height. So I have my meter stick and the pole. Okay. So then I have the height of the object and the shadow the height of the object and the length of the shadow. Okay. So for my meter stick, a meter stick is 100 centimeters tall and the shadow was 40 centimeters long. Okay, the height of the pole I don't know, but I know that the shadow was 24 feet long. So my proportion now is going to be 100 over the height of the pole equals 40 over 24. Okay, 20, um, centimeters, of course, and feet. Okay, I'm going to just erase so I have some more room. Okay. So again, that was 100 centimeters. All right, we're going over the height of the pole still need more room. Hold on. Okay, 100 centimeters over the height of the pole equals 40 centimeters over 24 feet. Okay, I would do cross products and I would end up with the height of the pole times 40 centimeters equals 24 feet times 100 centimeters. Okay. And I'm going to just shrink this to get it out of the way so I have more room. Okay. So I end up with the height of my pole equaling 24 feet times 100 centimeters over 40 centimeters. So I'm going to start to cancel. So the 40 
and the 100 can cancel, and I end up with 4 and 10. The centimeters will cancel, and then I can cancel the 4 and the 24. 24 becomes a 6, and 4 becomes a 1. So I'm left with 6, times, six feet times 10 centimeters. So my answer is 60 feet is how tall that pole is. Okay, going to another one. Brad saw that his shadow was the length, about the length of one big step, three feet. He then walked along the shadow of a nearby flagpole and found that it was eight big steps long. Brad is about five feet tall, which is the best choice for the height of the flagpole. So we can estimate the heights of objects by the lengths of their shadow. In this example, Brad, who is five feet tall, cast his shadow about three feet long. Okay, so if I have Brad here, and he's five feet tall, and his shadow is three feet long, okay, he's nearly twice as tall as the length of his shadow. So if the, my flagpole, okay, if my flagpole casts a shadow that was eight big steps long, which was about 24 feet, because it would be eight times three steps. So his, the shadow of the flagpole is 24 feet long. Okay, so the height of the flagpole should be about twice the height of the shadow, because that's what we found out with um, Brad here. So two times 24 is about equal to 40 feet. So the closest will be 40 feet. Okay, and that's it for my of this for this lesson.